it's time for another Valentine's Day meme maker alley oop style. I'm here with Jess and Allie. We are going to be your judges this evening, and Dan and Ethan are going to be showing us their best creative talents at making memes. All right, let's get started with Dan. Hey, Daniel. Uh, I show off my first meme. Go back to the start. Okay, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Little Kermit action. It's our favorite head coach, John Beeline. Uh, you know, what do you guys think? I think it's pretty cute, Kermit hugging the phone, you yep. know, and it's got John Beeline, and I just talked about mm -hmm. how much I love John Beeline, you know. Uh, yeah, I think I think the Kermit was a good thing, and I, you know, he is hugging his phone, so you know, you're on your phone, you see a picture of John Beeline, that's probably going to be your first reaction. Though I am mm -hmm. a little bit used to memes being like together in one picture mm -hmm. rather than having to see the two. So it really feels like you're nitpicking, but thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are going off creativity, but also presentation here. What's your take, Jess? I agree. I think it's a great take on a classic meme, but I think the two picture thing really threw me for a loop there. Ouch. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna give Dan his scores. Each of us are gonna give a score out of 10, and then we're gonna add them all up at the end to see who's the winner. For this one, I don't know, it's a tough one. I'm gonna say, the presentation definitely brought it down a little bit. I'm going to give you a six on this one, Dan. What do you say, Allie? Uh, I'm going to go with a seven. I liked it. It was good. The presentation was a little shaky, but good content. <laughs> Just I'm going to go with a six as well. I like the content, but presentation could use some work. <laughs> All right, up next, Ethan, let's see what you've got. OK, Dan, that meme was uh, weak. So <laughs> I'd love to see mine up on the screen now, please. <laughs> OK. so. It's a nice little let's chuck, you know. <laughs> Got to get your girl ready for Valentine's Day. <laughs> direct. We want, we don't, we don't beat around the bush with my memes. Let's chuck. Okay, so what I want to know right now, Ethan, is this like, are you channeling your own person, like your own game? Is that what's being expressed in here? You would go that direct in this situation? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, I do think that the photo of Charles that you showed was honestly pretty good for that um, mm -hmm. it's pretty personal what do you guys think I agree I like the photo um, you know Chuck is kind of we would joke about the Chuck Charlie Charles thing so I, I don't know I thought it was good good job yeah I agree good play on words good photo yeah. selection all around Jess what are you giving um, him I like the photo selection I thought it was funny so I'm gonna go eight on that one I'm gonna go to the seven I gotta go with an eight. I think I think part of it is just your own game <laughs> shining through in that yeah. photo. Really makes it good. Thank you. All right, Dan, get back over here. Let's see what you got on meme number two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, on to my second one. Uh, I really think it's gonna uh, be a, a great choice. Here we go. A good take on a classic meme again. Mm. All right. So here we see Isaiah and Jordan sitting. It looks like they're actually sitting at this table in yeah. real life. Yeah, um, you know, sign saying we have the best bromance in the world, which, you know, you saw that come through at the end of the game the other day, yeah. that alley oop. It's just factual. It is factual. <laughs> so this, I give you an A for accuracy on this one. Yeah. I, who doesn't love a good bromance? Mm -hmm. Think it's great. I like it. Yeah, I agree. Thought it was a good take. Again, on a classic meme. You're sticking with, your, with a theme here. I like it. And, uh, yeah, who doesn't love the Jordan Isaiah bromance? It's great. Yeah, I mean, Valentine's Day isn't just for, you know, your significant other. You got a little bromance thing. That's great. Yeah, I shout out to the boys. <laughs> shout out to the boys. I give you a seven on this one, Dan. I really liked it. I'm going to go with an eight. thought it was great. I'm going to go as high as a nine. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're <Not> welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be another X, be my Xavier. This, this is a good one. So play I like on it. his mm -hmm. uh, name, as you can tell. And, you know, on Valentine's Day, you want to, you know, keep, keep the one closest to you. You don't want him to ever go away. So this one's the more sentimental side of my personality. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the let's chuck, and then we've got the, you know, I don't want to cross you off my list. You probably don't even have a <laughs> <laughs> 
list. So. <laughs> yes, I uh, yes, I have one person, my girlfriend. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think that's great. You know, Valentine's Day is about romance. I I give this one. Dan um, wouldn't understand. You know, we'll he has no romance. Stairs. What do you think, Allie? Yeah, I mean, I like the sentimental side on this one, and I like that it's a uh, play on even kind of like his name change too. Like it used to be Xavier with an X, so switched up to the Z. I like it. It's good. Yeah, again, I like the play on words, and I like the format it's in. You could use it as an actual Valentine, which is mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, I would, I would send this to my Valentine. I, uh, 100%. Yeah, I give you a 8.5 on this one, Ethan. I'm going to go with a 9. I'm going to go with a 9 as well. I, th I thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to see our last meme from Dan. What is it? Well, I'd just like to say, before we take a look at my last meme, uh, all mine are handmade. And I would like to say that Ethan has hired somebody to make his, so if that factors in to the, the scores, and you can also change your previous yeah. scores, so just keep that in mind. On to my last meme. Wow, look at that one. So it's from a great game as well, and also one of our favorite players on the team, Iggy. When you shoot your shot, when you shoot your shot with a cute girl in, cl in your class, you know, obviously get rejected. Um, I think we've all been there before. Not me, mainly Ethan. Not me. Uh, I haven't. Definitely not. So, uh, you know, what do you guys think? Yeah, I mean, I think the the photo was great because exactly what you're talking about in your caption, you're seeing, you know, in the image. So it's easy, it's easy, it's easy to visualize what that, you know, might look like when you are Ethan, you know, go to shoot your shot and that <laughs> exact situation happens. Yeah, I agree with that. I like the photo, um, but I wish the shot went in or something. I wish there was a positive ending to that story. I have to agree, you know, for the Valentine's Day meme, it's mm -hmm. the first one that's been like a kind of a letdown because, you know, it's uh, unfortunate. <laughs> Ellie, what are you giving this one? I'm gonna go with a six. I still liked it, but it's, you know, kind of a sad mm -hmm. tone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go six as well. Yo, six across, six is across the board. It was not your best work. Um, <laughs> didn't end on a high note, but maybe Ethan will. Ethan, let's see your last meme. <laughs> so my last meme is, uh, be my Valentine's Day bras date kiss. Another play on my name. Again, this is another Valentine that I would actually send to somebody. You know, if I was writing Valentine's Days for Valentine's Day cards for all the kids in my class, I would be happy to put this in their little shoebox with the candy. I think it's practical and great. Yeah, I totally agree. It's it's nice. It's simple, but it's got a again a nice little basketball twist in the play on. Play on names is good. Yeah, definitely could be useful, and I like the picture, and you're really creative with the play on names there, so a lot of credit for that. Thank you. It actually looks like a Valentine Day card, too. Yeah. You know, you have, bread made it. <laughs> you have because the, that is the point of this game, if I'm not mistaken. Two, <laughs> you have the two and the from, so you can actually address this to somebody mm -hmm. who you have a crush on, mm -hmm. and they will receive it and feel a little bit of love. So I Dan give you a nine. Dan won't be getting any of this. <laughs> I give you a nine on this one. Good, good work, Ethan. Yeah, I'm going to go nine as well. Yep, nine's across the board. Good one. Wow. Okay, <laughs> so we do have a final score. Let's get Dan and Ethan back in here together just to recap this. You guys both did great work, very creative, regardless of if you did it by yourself or had a little bit of help. So anyways, uh, yeah, very impressive. Our final score is going to be Ethan with a... Well, you know, we're going to give Ethan's last on this one. <laughs> Dan has a whopping 61 points. And That's Ethan, okay. if we could get a drum roll, please. Ethan has a 76.5. So congratulations, Ethan. Um, I'm sure many people will be enlisting you for their serv your services in sending Valentine's this year. So anyways, that brings us to the end of this year's Valentine's Day Meme Maker on Alley Oop.